CUDA 13.1 The future of coal is tiled. If you are following the AI revolution, then you've definitely heard of NVIDIA. But the real secret source, the software that actually unlocks all that GPU power for everything, from discovering new drugs to creating entire videos, while that platform is called CUDA. Okay, let's get right into it. For years, this logo has represented an almost unbelievable amount of computational power. But you know, getting access to that power, it's always come with a pretty significant catch. And that's really the core question for our explainer today. You have this promise of incredible, nearly instantaneous speed, but actually harnessing it has been this super complex, painstaking process, something really only expert developers could do. So what's changing? Well, first, we got to understand the old way of doing things, what I kind of think of as the optimization gauntlet. This is the world that CUDA developers have been living and breathing in for more than a decade. This whole process is built around something they call the appalled cycle. First, you assess your code to find the parts that are dragging it down. Then you parallelize it, which means breaking up the problem so the GPU can chew on all the pieces at once. You deploy it, and then the real world starts. You optimize. And this isn't a one and done thing. It is a demanding. You got to be kidding me. Iterative loop where you are constantly tweaking and wrestling with the hardware for every last bit of performance. So one of the biggest hurdles, one of the biggest walls you hit in that optimization step is this concept called memory coalescing. Think of it like this. If 32 workers need to grab 32 items, that are all sitting right next to each other on a warehouse shelf. It's super efficient. They can grab them all in one big trip. But what if those items are scattered all over the warehouse? Well, that's going to take 32 separate, really slow trips. Getting this right is absolutely critical. And this slide just illustrates the difference perfectly. On the left, that's the dream. That's a perfect coalescing memory access. All the threads are grabbing data that's right next to each other, and the hardware can just bundle it into one super fast transaction. On the right, though, the threads are skipping over memory locations that's what we call a stride, and that forces the hardware into making way more and way slower transactions. You're just wasting a massive amount of potential speed. Now, this is what's so wild. This slide shows you the actual real-world cost. I mean, look at that performance cliff with a stride of just one perfectly aligned, we are getting almost 800 gigabytes per second. The very moment we introduce a stride of two, it's cut by more than half. It is a brutal, brutal penalty for not lining up the memory access in the exact way the hardware wants you to. And on top of all that, 
developers have to manually juggle all these different types of memory on the GPU, each one from the lightning fast on chip registers to the slower global memory has different speeds, different sizes, and its own set of rules. It is just another layer of complexity you have to completely master just to write code that runs well. So after decades of developers fighting this battle, NVIDIA is introducing a fundamental shift, a brand new, higher level way of thinking, moving away from individual threats to thinking about entire tiles of data. This quote right here, it gets straight to the heart of this new philosophy. NVIDIA is basically saying, look, the hardware is getting absurdly complex. Let us handle the low-level mess of memory, coalescing, and threat management. You, you just focus on your algorithm. So what is a tile? It is a total game changer. Instead of telling every single worker on a construction site exactly which brick to lay and how, you just go to the foreman and say, build me a 10 by 10 wall right here. You are describing the work on a chunk of data, a tile, and the compiler acts as your expert foreman, figuring out the absolute most efficient way to get that job done. The advantages here are massive. The compiler automatically handles moving data around and making the work parallel. It can use specialized hardware like TensorCores without you having to write a single extra line of code. And maybe most importantly, your code becomes future-proof. It's going to run efficiently on tomorrow's GPUs without you having to rewrite the whole thing. Okay, this all sounds great in theory, but let's see what it actually looks like when you are writing code. This is where the real aha moment happens. So here's your classic vector addition example in traditional CUDA C++. You see that line with block idx.x and thread idx.x. That's you, the programmer, manually calculating which piece of data is one specific thread is supposed to work on. You are micromanaging every single worker. Now, look at the new way with tile. Now this example is in Python, which helps it look simpler. But focus on the real change here. There is no manual thread math. You just say load a tile from array A, load a tile from B, and them together, and then store the result. You are describing what you want done with chunks of data, not micromanaging how every single thread should do its job. So that's it. That's the crucial point. It's a complete shift in philosophy. The old model, SIMT, it forced you to think like the machine managing threads and memory by hand. The new tile model lets you think about your algorithm describing operations on data, and it let the compiler be the expert on the hardware. And this isn't just some academic exercise to make coding a little easier. This change has profound real-world implications for the speed at which AI research and development can actually happen. By making GPU programming dramatically simpler, you are lowering the barrier to entry. All of a sudden, way more researchers and engineers can write the custom high-performance code 
that you need for cutting edge models. It means prototyping new ideas is radically faster, and this isn't some theory. It is already being used in huge models like Llama 3.1, and it's enabling that next wave of AI innovation. Now, this is definitely cutting edge technology. To use it right now, you're going to need the latest CUDA 13.1 2K and NVIDIA's newest Blackwell architecture GPUs. But this is clearly the direction everything is going. And that really leaves us with a final thought to chew on. As these AI models become exponentially more complex, maybe the biggest bottleneck isn't the hardware anymore. Maybe it's the humans trying to program it and perhaps abstracting away all that complexity like the tile model does. Maybe that isn't just a convenience. Maybe it's a necessity for us to even keep up with the future.